Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the live broadcast of the 2016 SAS College Rugby League Grand Final between St. Paul's College and Wesley College at this halfway point. St. Paul's holding a 16-14 lead. If you haven't seen the first 25 minutes, it's been a closely fought game with St. Paul's just probably taking the better chances with the ball in hand. We're set for an absolutely thrilling second half. Remember, Wesley have a history of showing up in the second half and producing better efforts. And as for St. Paul's, while well, they are the consummate professionals, they've been here before, done that. As Dylan Tavita gets us back underway, kicking down towards the Penrose end of the ground. And it's led to bounce by Wesley, but picked up in the end by Pompey. Back underway, we welcome back in Troy Hardy. Troy, the, the wind probably died down a little bit from the earlier games, but it's going to be a factor in the second half, isn't it? Absolutely. It just sort of comes and goes, and uh, you're not too sure when it does. However, it's, um, you know, if there's any benefit in it, it'll be for Wesley, as the wind will be on their backs, as the wind's crossing the park from left to right. You can hear the latest Madonna song going off over on the far side of the, uh, the arena here, as the support is thick and loud for both teams. And um, they've certainly got into it. We've got a fantastic crowd down here at Mount Smart number two as we're watching the uh, SAS College Rugby League Grand Final. Oh, just about got a little hand to an intercept there. And um, he's not a tall halfback, the uh, St. Paul's half there. So he obviously, you know, he got, up, got a bit of air time there to try and get a hand to it. And it's a knock on. Aaron Kisher says we'll play a scrum here. And um, they get ready to uh, reset for play. Great to be here, Corey Rosser, as we get into the second part of tonight's match. Just what the doctor ordered for Wesley, I would think. Back-to-back -back sets to start the first half. It wasn't a bad option from Murray to go out of the line looking for the intercept, but doesn't pay off, and now Wesley will get back-to-back -back sets to start this one. So Lawrence will feed out to Pompey, who turns back onto the inside. The big number four, Apanisa Silo, who was fantastic last week, scored a length of the field try with pure pace and power, and they do have some strike out on the edges this Wesley side and we will just mention fantastic to see them in this competition obviously a, a renowned rugby union nursery who have fostered through the likes of Malakai Fekitoa over the years uh, Jonah Lomu the, probably the most famous the late great Jonah Lomu so fantastic to see them here playing the greatest game of all welcome Wesley College and congratulations on a fantastic debut season as play spills out to the edge now and St Paul's have done well they've scrambled and pushed Wesley over and it looks like we'll have a St Paul's loose head and feed so good defence on the edges there, Troy. They scramble well. St. Paul's plenty of communication and, uh, and desperation. So they'll pack this one down just short of the 40 metre line. Absolutely. And um, be kind of cool or interesting to be a fly on the wall in the halftime chats for both camps. I think St. Paul's will be more around um, you know, keeping composure, making sure that they're patient and finalising their six. Wesley, I think um, at some point in time, they're really going to have to start putting a wee bit of a blowtorch on and um, start getting their big guys into it and let's see where we can get our young standoff out into the out into the play. And uh, we've got a split here. He said play on. So the ball's no, come out. We've got play on at this stage gone, in the number no. 12. Excuse referee's me. gone, no. <laughs> and that ruins the party. Oh, Aaron, we had an opportunity to raise our voice and get all excited. And Aaron says, no, there's going to be no raising of voices. We're coming back and we're sitting the scrum here. It was a bit too good to be true. That one wasn't a Troy. The, uh, well, the second row gets it. No one in front of him. The eyes lit up, but uh, no cigar on this occasion. Well, there's no cigars in any of the school SAS college rugby leagues. There's no smoking. We are smoke-free. And um, just in regards to all of that, we hope that you'll be having a vegetable juice first thing tomorrow morning before you go to school bright and early. And um, for all of the teams that seriously, for all the teams that have played in the grand finals today, you know, just making the grand finals uh, the most, or one of the most important things. Win or lose, the fact that you got here, some teams, some players never ever make a grand final. So big ups to all the teams for tonight. Yeah, absolutely. Echo those thoughts from Troy as Wesley now have had pretty much all of the ball in this second half to start things. And they disappear out towards the left edge. Now into dummy half comes the nine, Lorenz Tupere. They head back towards the middle, and surprise, surprise, it's Adam Pompey at first receiver. The most influential player in this team. I spoke to their coach, Lawrence Lawrence, midweek. He said Adam's a player that just gives everyone around him confidence. When he's in the team, everyone feels better about themselves, and those players are very valuable regardless of the level. So congratulations to Adam on his achievements to date. 
as we see a breakout on the left there, and it's almost very nearly Sam Havili gets through the line. Ronan Lawrence comes into dummy half. They head out the oh. back. A bit of miscommunication may have been knocked on. Lawrence taps it back. Play still alive at this stage in the 15. Keanu Naden. About and five it, minutes up from the line. Lawrence heads back, and Pompey now will get it. And it's Skywood it goes, and it's a big one. Mike Williams great under kick. it. Great elevation. Knock on, I think, from Wesley there in the end. Just went up for it. But good to see those ones being contested. Troy, a, a better than Linda Bounce, at least. Absolutely. And Corey Corey just mentioned about Lawrence Lawrence. Lawrence Lawrence is the actual name of the coach down there. We're not being silly, and uh, thank you very much, Corey Corey. You might hear Eagle One in the background there, or it could be another NRL agent scoping out some of the talent that's on availability uh, well, down here on offer or on show at the SAS College Rugby League. So back to the play, and Duke and Williams now rucking it out, getting involved. Two very powerfully built wingers, Duke and Mike Williams, the brothers on the wings. Head out towards the middle now, and it's a good run. This one from Zephaniah Arenga, and they're relentless, the St. Paul's big men. They start with. Great kick. Sioni Nahi and Arenga, and then they bring off the bench guys like Tuitama, Taniela Misaki, Luis Sio, who, of course, his brother Chris, a member of the uh, Warriors under 20s outfit, a Maris Saints player. Not sure what the referee called there, Corey. No, we'll wait for confirmation on that one as the players walk towards the spot. No obvious body language from. Either coach, no, I think it's going to be. It's actually in goal there as the uh, winger went back to pick up. Yeah, so drop out. Wesley, so now Wesley forced to defend repeat sets. Let's see what they've got. Their defense has been pretty good this year. They were they were pretty poor in the first half against Kelston last week, but the second half was a totally different story, and that was all about confidence. Well, they've got no reason to not feel confident right now. I know they're behind by 16 points to four, but they've played pretty well so far and really need to back this up with a good defensive set. And it starts there with a good tackle. First up contact from Sione Fafida. The man who thought he had a runaway try a couple of minutes earlier got the commentary team all excited, but it was called back. Now they ruck it out, and Murray now will head back towards the sticks. And you see now the interchange men from St. Paul's, the fresh legs, getting involved. Dummies towards the left, and Jalen Murray. And watch for Dylan Tavita to pop up on this right edge now. He's directing traffic. He wants the ball. Murray's going into dummy half. Out it goes to Tavita. Throws that lovely cutout pass out wide. May have numbers, but Wesley, good line speed there to get up in the face and contain it. Boy, he looks dangerous when he throws that cutout, Dylan Tavita. Back towards the sticks. Yeah, it puts the defense in second minds. They've got to think about it. You know, is it coming, is it not coming? And that second step or that second, you know, uh, stutter in the um, speed coming up creates all sorts of opportunities as they start to run it out from their line. So Wesley survive, and it's a good defensive set. Now let's see what they've got here. They need the big men to put their hands up. They need a couple of big charges. You would expect Setefano will be in the middle of it. Fafida gets it out on the edge, but they're trying to go sideways. They need to go through the middle early on, one would think. Wesley into dummy half. Shift yeah. out towards the left, but it's good line speed from St. Paul's, and it's been good line speed the whole game. Nothing's changed. I think some of the big Wesley boys need to be asking some questions out here. This is a big, deep kick down into the, uh, over the fullback's head. Yeah, Staffatore made to go back for that one. It's a good chase. Pompey's leading it, and that's good to see. A good kick, and an even better chase from Great Adam tackle. Pompey. Now out of dummy half. Wesley are at sixes and sevens a little they bit are. here, Troy. They're struggling to get back. They need to get that defensive yeah, line set. Get the shape sorted, absolutely. Can ill afford a penalty now is... And it's just off screen to the viewers. But they look like they've got their wall up now, and um, they're back in the D. Oh, oh, they've split them, and I've just given the guy the kiss of death. Big contact out towards the right edge there, and it's now St. Paul's reverting to some one-out stuff. Oh. It's a driving tackle. He's driven yeah. back about 10 metres there, Troy. Yeah. Excellent defence. Pompey out of dummy half pressures the kicker. Well, hell, if he'd kept running, he would have taken him back to Wesley with him. And now little brother... At the back, Tuhi Pompey returns the ball. So the arm wrestle is upon us. Who's going to crack first? Great good offload. Off. He's got a good hands. He's stepping Keanu straight Naden. into a couple of big boys and slammed to the ground. Good attention there to scoop up the offload. And now Tupac gets into dummy half. And that's what oh. they wanted. That's the penalty. Just spending a little bit too long in the ruck there, Troy. Trying to slow things down. Yep. Pushing the boundaries. Throwing it out to uh, Pompey. He's going to give it a big, long boof. 
That's uh, English in another language in a northern village for boot. Down the <laughs> park as we're looking for the line. He's got the wind with him. And we've got a few metres there. Start now let's see if we can mount a bit of pressure. Here we go. Wesley. 20 metres getting set. the line. Wesley. Ronan Lawrence with the tap. And they'll go early on out towards Silo. Back to Lawrence. A little inside, outside play. Just trying to perhaps catch St. Paul's. Not quite shuffling as they need to. To pay her into dummy half. Out towards the right now, and it's pretty straightforward stuff early on from Wesley. But don't be surprised to see either Lawrence or Pompey try and take the line on here. Lawrence with it at first receiver. Ooh, and a dangerous oh, oh. one across the face. Yes. Play on at this stage, and there is space there if they can get there. Wesley out into space, heads back infield. Ten metres out from the line, so Wesley lucky to survive that one. The pass across the face, almost intercepted. But picked up by the number five for Wesley. Sayalatu, the try scorer earlier in the game, but that's an error. Not what they needed. Yeah, I think there was um, a triple bypass there for the coach on that cutout pass. It um, just about cut out straight through to the oncoming interceptor, and that guy, if he'd caught it, I'm pretty sure would have got a few metres, if not through to the sticks. And just a shout out to the coaches, of course, uh, you know. Great adverts for the pathway that is available through the Auckland Rugby League system. Junior Fuel, the uh, coach of St. Paul's, came through the system, went on to uh, be involved with the Vodafone Warriors under 20 squad, back helping now. So great to see not only our, our coaches, our, our players, but also our coaches able to advance through that system and go on to bigger and better things. So this competition is a fantastic nursery, whether you're a player, a coach, a trainer, a referee. It's all there. Even so a manager, mate. Even a manager. Absolutely. So now St. Paul's coming out and I guess a period where we've seen a couple of errors from both sides here, Troy. You would expect yep. St. Paul's just look to get to the end of the set on this one as there's a good dart out of dummy half from Anthony Murray. Uh, and, and to be fair, they've only just come out of their half. We've been down there for a good 10 minutes, you know. Um, and Tavita with a good kick good in behind kick, yeah. and it's behind Latu. Latu's got a bit of work to do here. The chase is good. Needs to get away from that sideline. I think he's just stayed in. Yeah. He has the crowd getting crowd right say up otherwise. That one. Well, half the crowd. <laughs> That's right. So Wesley now needs something special and the big boys just got to grit the teeth, maybe take a hit here. They are up against it. St. Paul's that really aggressive line speed getting up in the face. They need something special here, Wesley, to get them out of trouble. That's it's a good offloaded. offload. And it's gone back to Naden. And Keanu Naden, he's been impressive since entering the fray, Troy. Involved in everything. Back towards the left now. And Tupaya will feed it. And this one, Setefano, the big fella. Getting involved. One of the Couple few players in the squad who play club football as well. Yep. Pompey misses one out towards the left. And this is the... And it's Latu's on. into some space. Latu's into space. He's got toe. Is he going to go all the way back inside? It's going to be called back. And it's going to be called back. I think we've found a forward pass in there somewhere along the way. It looked like Wesley were away. They had the numbers there. They'd drawn a pass. They were scrum. in. St. Paul's went straight into a huddle. There's a bit of a chat going on there before they get into the scrum. And I suppose this is the difference between teams that have been in grand finals. Teams have been in grand finals three times. They know that they need to regather. They need to sort out um, a wee bit of discipline now as they get set. There might be a, uh, a play on here. Looks like they've just shuffled up the scrum as they go down. And um, here we go. So they work it out towards the left. And uh, as we look down from our commentary booth here, we see Dayton, Tony Ovasa preparing to come back into the fray for St. Paul's. A stocky, uh, a short player, plays in the middle of the park, but really powerful. And there he comes. He's onto the field and just looking to see who he's replaced here. It looks like it may be the number 16. 15, I think, Chief. 15, Tanio Masaki off the field. So a change for St. Paul, some fresh legs on. In the meantime, Sione Nahi with a good carry and a great offload at the end of it as well. This is the 17, Luis Seo into space. Sione Nahi, he's got to be the front runner for player of the match so far he's been excellent they've got space out towards the right edge they can't get great there D. Wesley up in the face great D close it down excellent work they head back out towards the right again and I think we've got a spilt ball play on Wesley recover 
Troy, you just you highlighted it. That was fantastic defence from Wesley. Coming up in numbers, jamming in. It was a must-make tackle. Yep, that'll do them a little bit of confidence. But they need to get that ball and down here, and they need to mount some pressure. And they, and they don't want to get the pressure of the scoreboard. Just playing mental gymnastics on their minds as we get another break here. Yeah, and good here we go. From Wesley Is this now? the opportunity for Wesley now as they start to open up their shoulders? Front football, almost a professional foul there, you would think, from St. Paul's. They head towards the right edge where they do have the number advantage. Dummies and goes himself. Possibly not a bad option. You don't want to get too close to the sideline early in the tackle count. So Lawrence into dummy half. Pompey with his hands on the ball. In fact, it's Keanu Naden. Just takes a settler. So, and a penalty. Well, there you go. Wesley, patience rewarded. And 16 points to four with 10 minutes to go in this SAS College Rugby League Grand Final. Troy, it's getting to the point where... Building pressure is not good enough anymore. Wesley, they need Wesley, to find tap something and go. They've got everything now. It's all about accelerator down and driving straight ahead. So Pompey takes the ball to the line. And I tell you what, he's almost leading his Wesley team in hit-ups. He's been fantastic again today, Adam Pompey. Dummy half, two payer out. One out stuff. Lawrence wants the ball. Is that it? Talk is that it? He's creeping closer. We have a try here. We have a try. So two payer. Great strength out of dummy half. Battles his way over. Exactly what Wesley were after. And all of a sudden, it's game on. 16 points to wait. Kick to come. If this is successful, Troy, we're back to a one-score game. Absolutely. And uh, let's hope now we see the big second-half comeback, as in last week when uh, Wesley decided to um, unlock, get everyone moving into the front foot. And, um, and here we go. And maybe that's their danger period in regards to, you know, getting the ball moved around and these guys putting the accelerator down. Right next to the... Hayden roll it upright, making the kick fairly simple for the kicker. Sorry. And we're waiting for the kick to come as we hear Gary over on the far side there addressing the crowd through the stadium PA. So Pompey fine in front, makes no mistake. So indeed it is, 16 points to 10 with eight minutes remaining in this SAS College Rugby League Grand Final. We have your defending champions in front by six at this stage. St. Paul's College, the kings of College Rugby League. No one's ever done it better than St. Paul's. The honour roll is rich. Stacey Jones through to current day players such as Tor 44 Sipley. One of the great rugby league schools, not just in New Zealand, but also in Australia, if you look at it in terms of uh, graduates to, to NRL player ratio. And for many years, under Mark Rice as principal, a, a, a big rugby league man himself, they have been... A fantastic school for nurturing rugby league talent. And there are plenty more on display today. Make no mistake about it as Dylan Tavila gets us back underway. And straight away, Troy, you sense a spring in the step from Wesley. Oh, some energy out there now. Here we go. The crowd's going to start livening up. Wesley could be starting to put the hammer down. And um, as long as they have a wee bit of patience, they play their six. They're starting to get a wee bit of structure out there now. We can't just see them off offline, offside of the... Uh, the TV coverage here, but they're spreading the park. A couple of big boys now trying to bend the line, and I think uh, we're in for some exciting times. Um, it's good to see, the, you know, the newcomers, the upstarts. Wesley just strolling into the grand final, and here they come. There's something in the air, Corey, and it's a wee bit more than just the four degrees. Absolutely. Wesley now with a real spring in their step. They go out towards the left. Pompey juggles, spins one off. Look at the strength of the man. Attracts plenty of defenders and they still don't get into ground. Eventually taken down by St. Paul's. He's looking desperately at the linesman for a penalty. Not going to come. Head back towards the middle now. Ooh. And out the back they go. And that's sloppy. Tui Pompey picks it up. Try to tidy it up. Recovers and that's going to be a handover. That was last tackle. Hence the urgency from Wesley. So a scrappy in there, Troy. Just um, all started with a, a, a bad first pass I guess and then uh, from there it fell apart but not the end of the world for Wesley as they regather their shape a chance to take a breath the arm wrestle is on ladies and gentlemen this is secondary school rugby league at its very best so it's all been Wesley's ball so far some pulls back into the game now great darting run from the dummy half he's made great meters there still going So now Murray into dummy half and brings on the big fella. This is Zephaniah Renga. A Toa He's Solo offloaded. Representative offloads now to Murray. Stafford Tour. Try score from earlier. Gets through. Boy, he's got some strength. He's very close to the line, but just short. Hit out towards the right edge. They've got numbers. Crunching hit. Reaches out. We have a try. Yes, we do. St. Paul's hit back. 
and there's a little bit of a discussion going on afterwards. We won't worry about that, but what a fantastic play from St. Paul's. I think it may have been Dylan Tavita who got there in the try in the end. It was over the very far side of the field here from the commentary booth, so struggling to get that number, but I think it may have been Tavita, the number six. And is that the grand final, Troy? Well... How much time's on the clock over there, Corey? For five, an old man, he's trying to see. Five and a half minutes remaining at this stage. It's a ten-point ball game. Twelve if Tavita's able to convert this one. Yeah, well, there's a lot of pressure now. Looking to be fair for Voisley. It's time now to really enjoy themselves. You know, let's open it up. Let's put the ball in here. Let's get the guys running. Let's throw it around. Let's really um, have a wee bit of humour, as they say, and everyone have a crack. You know, they've got nothing to lose. First time in the competition. Here they are in the grand final. They can only take good knowledge, good learnings out of all of this. And, you know, for the next five minutes, don't die wondering. Let's go, guys. Come on. Let's go. And unsurprisingly, St. Paul's taking plenty of time on the kick. We're going to have about four minutes remaining by the time the kick is completed. That is enough time, Troy. We've we've seen multiple times in this SAS College Rugby League competition where tries can be scored in the space of a couple of minutes, but certainly facing an uphill battle here, Wesley, as silence falls over Mount Smart Stadium while the kick is attempted. And it's a great kick. <coughs> so well done. St. Paul's now have a 12-point lead with four minutes remaining. <coughs> Probably best-case scenario, Wesley are looking at forcing extra time here if they can get two converted tries. The but SAS Steedham ball back at the halfway there. No, you, getting ready. you look at St. Paul's, what a story they are. They haven't had it all their way over the last few years with Kelson. Oh, that's just silly play. You can't afford yeah. to be doing that. Offside for four from minutes, the kickoff. You know, it's, it's just to get out of jail card free. And is that a bit of an experience possibly showing up there, Troy? Just little errors creeping in there. And Probably that lack of well oxygen see. to the brain, I would have thought. But now they're going to, this is going to be gum grind now. So they had the opportunity to go down and start tackling down inside St. Paul's half. Now all of a sudden, here they come again. So St. Paul's have three minutes to hold out and secure back to back SAS College Rugby League titles. This competition brought to you in association with Holden, Hayden and Rollett. A big thank you to our sponsors and the Auckland Rugby League Board for this initiative, bringing you these games all season, live and free to air around the world on aucklandleague.co.nz as St. Paul's now working up towards the sticks and a try here will certainly end the game. Tavita throws the cutout ball. They don't need a try, even just completing the set. A, a repeat set would probably end any hope of a Wesley comeback and what a brave effort it's been from Wesley in their first year of this competition to make it through to the grand final. But St. Paul's now burrow over and that may be the game. We wait for confirmation Short from our referee. Still short. So Tavita now swings out. Drop goal. And drop goal. Dylan Tavita. And that is a smart play. And that will be the game, ladies and gentlemen. St. Paul's College will defend the SAS College Rugby League crown. And I was just about to say, I wouldn't be surprised if somebody pulls out a field goal. And... Um, there, bang, it happens. And boy, hasn't Tavita been impressive with his options today? His kicks have been on par. He's, He's taken well. the line yep. on, and yep. there you see just uh, a, a clever play, really, to kind of put the result I beyond think he's doubt. Had a, he's had a pretty classful, uh, class act season. You know, in, in a lot of the games that he's played, I think his kicking's been one of the main weapons in regards to steering some balls around the park. And he would have to be a favourite for the Man of the Match award, I would think, along with Sioni Nahi, who scored the opening try and has been excellent in the middle of the park. So, less than two minutes remaining now in this one as the outside backs get in and involved. And while the result now certainly looks beyond reach, would like to congratulate Wesley College for a fantastic debut campaign. Who would have thought that we would be here calling them in this SAS College Rugby League Grand Final? And they've done their school proud. And a big thank you to... The powers that be out at Wesley for getting them involved in this one in the greatest game of all. It's great to see Wesley here. As St. Paul's now start to make some easy yardage up the middle. And it is easy yardage because this Wesley side are tired. Tavita now goes for the little trip over the top. It's scooped up. And there's space out towards the left here for Wesley. But it's just not going to be their day. Just little efforts from St. Paul's stopping them close to the line. Troy... Really a fantastic final. The scoreline will say it's probably been a little one-sided. Probably not the case, though. It's been a great arm wrestle. 
been a fantastic game of football. And as you've already said, you know, St Paul's been here many times. They've got the knowledge. They've done it. They've seen it. They've been to enough grand finals to know. For Wesley, I think they've done themselves proud. They had a big match to get here. Um, you know, they've had a couple of tries put on. I think there's some class players that will come out of the Wesley um, factory. And in regards to what may or may not happen over the next couple of years, don't be surprised if they become a powerhouse. They've got a lot of talent out there, um, whether it's in rugby or rugby league. And, um, you know, by, from what we've seen in regards to their first year in the SAS College Rugby League, they've done themselves proud in hell. They're in the grand final. And We've got a break the there. Crowd count down the final 10 seconds of this one. Wesley with one last chance, and Pompey goes straight through the middle. Tackled, and that might just about do it. So, congratulations. St. Paul's College, your 2016 SAS College Rugby League champions and convincing winners and deserving winners. They have gone this season undefeated. A huge feat. Congratulations to Junior Fuel and his side. And they are the champions, 13-point winners over Wesley today. And commiserations to Wesley, but congratulations on a fantastic campaign. Grand finalists in their debut season, as Troy mentioned earlier. I think we're going to see a lot more from this school in the future. Do stay with us for the post-match ceremonies.